Happy Saturday, everyone. We're still under that ABC 7 first alert, preparing for what we're going to experience tomorrow. And, you know, there's different types of learners out there. There's readers, there's visual learners as well. So here's for the readers. Now, this is our wind cast for tomorrow. West, southwest winds uh, 35 to 45 miles per hour. That's what we're going to experience tomorrow with those peak wind gusts up to 65 miles per hour. The timing will be anytime right around 10 a.m. through the early evening and all of us are going to be experiencing these strong winds tomorrow. But for those of you who are visual learners, you'll want to watch right now. So this is tomorrow, 5 a.m. in the morning. And if you like to get up very early, make sure you are securing those loose items. Winds won't be very strong at that time, but they will start to strengthen very quickly and already by 8 o'clock. Those of you in Las Cruces starting to feel winds up to 40 miles per hour. Areas out to the west, Columbus, Deming, stronger winds than that. El Paso, maybe not in the strongest winds at that time, but just a few hours later, 10 o'clock, 27 mile per hour wind gusts in El Paso, 52 in Las Cruces at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So some of us who like to really sleep in, you'll be waking up to some loud winds out and about. Those of you in Deming, Columbus, already up to s nearly 60 miles per hour. And then by lunchtime, look at this. 64 mile per hour winds at El Paso and Las Cruces, 55 in C Columbus. Look up in the area mountains, 83 in Ruidoso. So tomorrow is going to be a day full of very strong winds. Damage is likely. We're looking at trees falling down, power lines possibly falling down as well. It's going to be very windy. So like I said, if you didn't secure anything today, make sure you wake up early to do that tomorrow. The winds will start to weaken a little bit after I think one, two o'clock, but they'll still be strong. Look at Las Cruces at five o'clock tomorrow, 50 mile per hour winds. About the same for El Paso and Chaparral tomorrow. Winds will die down. Eventually it'll take a couple hours. Then by 10 o'clock tomorrow, we're looking at those winds to be around 35, 30 miles per hour. And then at overnight tomorrow, they'll finally die down. So many hours of, of some very strong winds for us across the borderland. By Monday, those winds will die down, but they'll inch right back up through Thursday. We're looking at another windy day, 30, 45 mile per hour winds. So stay up to date with our weather information. If you have our app, you probably got my alert that I pushed out. Just a couple minutes before the show, you want to bring those loose items indoors. I'm really trying to emphasize that it's a smart idea and then move your car away from any trees. You don't want to risk that tree falling down on your car. That would be a bad thing. And of course, latch down the trampoline. Also tomorrow we could have some dust blowing around. So you want to pull off the road. If you get into a thick pocket of dust, turn off the lights. Put your foot off the brake and just wait for a better visibility tomorrow. Temperatures will be warm, but the winds making it uncomfortable for us all. 64 for El Paso, 62 for Las Cruces and Alamogordo, 55 in Deming. Let's look at your 70 forecast sponsored by Mattress Firm. So that first alert is for tomorrow. Strong winds expected a small chance of rain. Don't think very many of us will see any rain at all. Monday will be breezy, Tuesday breezy as well. Winds pick up through Thursday again and it's just going to be really windy tomorrow, so make sure you stay up to date with our forecast here at ABC7.